Hey everybody, hope you're all having a great day. It's a beautiful spring day up here in Massachusetts. I thought I'd take a quick video of my 1987 Cadillac Brome de Elegance. I just got finished. I put the initial coat of F11 on the paint and I also treated the vinyl roof with 303 Aerospace. And as you can see, this is the end result. And it's such a beautiful sunny day. The weather's been kind of crappy up here. So I wanted to get the car out and take it for a nice drive. Thought I'd show you a video. I haven't taken a video of it yet, but uh, just wanted to show you uh, what the car looks like in person. I got this car off of my good friend, Anthony Gazzo at Specialty Motor Cars. If you don't know who Anthony is, definitely check out his uh, Facebook page and also his YouTube page and website. Uh, his YouTube page is Anthony Gazzo and his website is specialtymotorcars.net. If you want a Cadillac like this, that's absolutely mint with low miles, Cadillac Lincoln, any, any beautiful luxury car of this era, Anthony is the man to go to. He will set you up. But this car is done in autumn maple fire mist, which was a added cost option for the year and it has carmine red leather interior the car has 59,000 miles on it and as you can see i mean the paint is just absolutely gorgeous and the f11 really does a nice job and the sun really picks up that sparkle the only really thing uh, cosmetic thing that i did to the car and again because i'm just so obsessive compulsive i bought a brand new old stock ornament because I like to see that Cadillac wreath and crest through that windshield. I like to see those colors pop. And I also added a Heritage of Ownership badge. I had this badge from one of my other Cadillacs. It's vintage, but I never installed it, so I put it on this one. And it, it goes perfect with the year. So uh, the car, as you can see, is in great shape. Actually, beautiful shape. So I'm going to bring it to a good friend of mine in Middleton, Massachusetts to get some paint correction. And you're probably saying, well, what the hell are you going to do? The paint is fine. Well, it is. And Anthony did a fantastic job detailing it. But the car, I would imagine over the years, you know, since it was new, I don't think the owners really uh, had the knowledge. And I don't think the technology even existed back then for paint correction. And what I'm going to have my buddy do is completely get rid of any scratch, any swirl mark uh, that's on the car. And this paint, you think it looks good now, it's going to look like an ice skating rink. It's going to look like glass. He's going to treat the whole body and paint, uh, paint correct everything. And then once he gets done with that, then this car is just going to, if it, it's popped now, wait till it gets the paint correction done and it's gonna look absolutely fabulous. So let me just show you the interior. Interior is gorgeous. You get that beautiful red leather, tufted leather interior. I mean, it's just like a living room on wheels. And because this car really hasn't seen that much use, it's just perfect. The rug is nice and plush. Uh, you got the nice uh, embroidered, the elegance door panels. I just love the way those door handles shut. There's my Cadillac jacket, by the way. And here's the front. And I have a, a cup holder. I, sorry for the Dunkin' Donuts uh, styrofoam cup. I have to have my iced coffee. And as you can tell by my other videos, I like to go for coffee runs and take the broom and shoot some, <laughs> shoot some photos from the driver's seat of the car. So let's get in here. Uh, and I'll just show you a quick pan. Uh, the only cosmetic interior thing that Anthony had to do, he put a new headliner in and it's it come out absolutely perfect. Like I said, the car didn't need anything. It just it just sat. Uh, the the first owner had passed on, his son uh, took it and it was up in Vermont for years and years. And the son did a little bit of work to it. And then Anthony took it, did some more work to it, 
So the end result was this car, basically everything was new and re uh, refreshed. So new radiator, new heater core, new brakes, new hoses, transmission flush, you name it. Everything was just completely done mechanically in this car and it just rides and, and performs like a brand new car. Uh, interesting, the car does not have a, uh, it has the base, just AM, FM, electronic uh, radio, doesn't have cassette player, and it doesn't have a leather-wrapped steering wheel, but it has this, you know, the classic Cadillac uh, wood-trimmed steering wheel, and I love it because, as you can see on this particular steering wheel, the wood insert is just absolutely flawless and i love that pencil thin steering wheel it just reminds me of the cadillacs i've had before and i, I just i just think it's lovely and this uh you probably already know uh, this is the bluetooth uh converter and you plug it into your ashtray the factory speakers on i like to keep everything as stock as i can i mean, i don't want to fuck with the dash i don't want to pull start pulling radios out so the the factory speakers for this car, I mean, it just sound great. And what I did was I just bought went on Amazon. These are cheap. It was like twenty bucks. Bought the Bluetooth adapter. I have uh, you know phone. I have Spotify playlist that I just download. So I just play Spotify through here, and it just sounds phenomenal. Uh, you, it's it's great, and it's perfect for me. Um, I don't want to change the dash. I don't want to change. The, I'm sorry, the radio. It's fine. It's fine just the way it is. So let's give it a let's start her up. I bought uh, my newly minted gold Cadillac keys on my Cadillac keychain, naturally. So let's start this thing up, and I'll let you hear how the engine sounds. Well, you really can't hear it, but here we go. And one turn. That's it. She just kicks right over. And I'll zoom in on that beautiful Cadillac hood ornament. You really can't see details. Detail, well, you can. The sun's hitting it, but it's, uh, I, I, that was a great investment. I just love it. The new old, that ornament has never been installed on any car. It's, it's brand new. And the, the condition that this car is in, it just, it just had to go on there. And I absolutely love it. Uh, and like I said, the, the car is lovely. The interior, it's just, everything is proper on it. Um, it because it's a De Elegance model, uh, it's got the uh, assist handles. And um, I'm just so glad that I got it. I've always had Cadillacs and I was waiting for a particular Cadillac and I told my friend Anthony, you know, keep your eyes out. He got this one and it's like buying a new home you know i i saw it i saw it when he just brought it in and it looked fabulous then he didn't even go through it and i said anthony this is the one i want and he held it for me and i picked it up and and, and now it's in my possession so again just thought i'd show you guys the uh, 1987 cadillac brome de elegance i'm going to sign off now because the weather is beautiful and I heard the rest of the week, I don't know, the weather's supposed to be shitty again. That's New England for you. So I'm going to take her for a nice spin and have a good one.